Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosemary, this is Rosemary's You Rock Art. If you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. Know that I truly appreciate all your love and support. If you're checking this out for the first time, I hope you stick around, please consider hitting that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Well, um, I have a project share and uh, at the end of every month I do a Dollar Tree product review. So I'm going to start out with a product review and then I have quite a bit of um, crafting products or not crafting products, crafting items um, or, or projects that I have completed. Um, it is so bright out here I don't even know if I can see what I'm doing. Okay, we're gonna just try this. Okay, the first thing is this um, sensitive uh, toothpaste that I get at Dollar Tree. Of course, everything is at Dollar Tree, of course. Um, I uh, had used the Sensodyne forever and ever and ever, and it is pricey. So to get it for a dollar, it's amazing, and it does work just as well. It's a different flavor than Sensodyne. Sensodyne is more minty. This is more, has a little hint of cinnamon, but I don't mind it. So. I would give this uh, a real high uh, nine. Okay, um, this is the Hydro Mist Coconut Water um, Hand Soap. Love it, love it, love it. Um, uh, I love the scent. I love the way it cleans. I love it, love it a lot. Uh, I'd give this a nine as well. I'll tell you why I don't give it a 10. Um, because it's not uh, this product nature a box this stuff is absolutely amazing i have had it in several different scents um uh, i'm sad this is gone i do have one more in my cupboard uh underneath my bathroom sink and um i hope this does come back i give this a 10. it smells great it cleans great it lathers great it makes your hands feel soft and smooth i love this stuff so highly recommend this. Give this a 10. That's why I don't give this a 10. I'll give that a 9. Okay. Um, okay, this is the uh, Daily Defense um, hair conditioner. And, and that's what I put on in my hair today. Uh, just as I'm in the shower, I use a little of this uh, and just, you know, leave it in my hair while I'm uh, uh, lathering up. And, and then I rinse it off just like regular conditioner. Um, I love the way it makes my hair feel. I give that a 10, but I don't like the container it's in. I wish that it was in a squeeze bottle or a pump. Then I would give it a 10. <laughs> I guess I give it a 9 just because of convenience or lack thereof. But I do like it. I probably won't buy it again just because when you're in the shower and your hands are wet and everything and you're trying to hold everything, pour some in your hand. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, so... Uh, but it smells great too because it's coconut and I love coconut. Okay, um, this I was so excited to find and then I tried it and I was equally uh, impressed. Um, this is the hand and nail glove and it is a mask. So let I, I'll open it up because I've already used it. And so there are these gloves and you put them on and when you first take them out of the package they are moist leave them on for I think it says I don't know I, I think it says 15 minutes or something to that effect it's on the package and uh, when you're done uh, you know uh, you can either throw them away or uh, you know what I did because there was so much more product on it I folded them back up I did and I put them back in the bag and in the Ziploc bag. I used them three times. And there's still product in there, but it's a little dry. I know, I'm frugal. <laughs> you can get three uses out of these. You really can. And I, I liked them. Um, they made my hands soft. Again, when, you're, when you take the gloves off, you rub the rest of the product into your hands. Uh, I really like this. I did buy, I think, uh, four. Uh, if I see these again, I will uh, purchase these. I give these a 10. So that's what that looks like. So awesome, awesome, awesome. I love this. And it smells really good too. It has a floral 
glowy scent, which I'm not a big old fan of floral scent, but I didn't mind that. Okay, this is the totally awesome um, oxygen uh, powder. So you add this to your laundry when you're doing your wash. There's a little scoop in there. You just add a scoop to it and it acts like the OxyClean, but for a dollar for that amount, uh, let's see if you guys can see the amount because I can't. Um, hmm, maybe it says right there. So I'll just hold it up and see if you guys can read that. Great stuff. I did see a difference once I started using this uh, with my uh, whites and all of that. So uh, I will repurchase this again. I actually bought two of them at the time, so I'm working on the second container. Okay, you guys all know how I feel about the totally awesome fabric softener. I love this stuff. It is a repurchase. Um, I will continue to purchase this. This kind of lasts me a couple of months. It's only my husband and I. Pardon me, I do about two loads to three loads a week. Uh, you don't use very much, so it does last us. And for a dollar, oh my gosh. And I think this is the Island Breeze. Island Fresh Scent, I think is what it says. So, yes, I will repurchase it. I thought that they had a lavender, just fabric softener also, but I could be mistaken. That is all for my Dollar Tree product review for the month of May. So hope you guys enjoyed that. I mean, and I know a lot of you have commented that this is very helpful for you. And um, I do appreciate those comments. And uh, I will continue to do the Dollar Tree product reviews as long as you guys enjoy it. Okay, let's get to the project share. I'm so excited because um, uh, over the weekend I had so much fun. Uh, with my projects so i did a lot of a little of everything so i'm going to show you some mendex cards that i finished i don't, not finished that i started they are not done yet um and um i just have one part of one side done this one and i'm gonna i'm probably gonna take them out of the packaging because i have them behind a package this is just a start of one well I'm not finished with that one yet, but you kind of see where that's going. Have not even done anything to the back. So there's one. This one, I, I made these two for two people specifically. Not going to say who, um, but here is one. I am not done with this one. I still have a few little items to put on the front here. And then, of course, I'll do the back. There's the front. So had a lot of fun doing that one. And then here is the other one, very similar. And I'm not completely done with that. I'm waiting for a couple of more pieces. What I'm actually gonna put on both of them is a lipstick and a nail polish um, little sticker on those. So, and a little sentiment somewhere. So those are the Mendex cards I had fun with. And of course I still have the back side to do, which is my information. It's probably gonna be the you rock uh, kind of uh, thing on the back like I normally do with the girl rocking out with her guitar or keyboard. Uh, you know, you never know. And uh, so those are the Mendex cards that I kind of worked on. Um, this one with the uh, crayons the background, the, the colorful background, the purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red, that's paint, and I just swiped the paint across the page. And I'm using, actually, uh, over the Mendex card. Oh, and then, then um, my husband sprayed it with uh, glitter spray. Uh, but the actual, not the Mendex card, but the card that I painted is photo paper. I enjoy doing uh, projects on photo paper. Um, so that's what that is. And then the stickers are from Dollar Tree. Okay, I did another keychain. This is the last of my owl keychains. Um, and um, I have more coming in. Oh, I have uh, a set coming in. It should be coming in today. They're um, hearts. One's a panda bear, a polar bear, 
and two other, I think it's a bunny and one other. I cannot remember, but when I get them, I'll show you for sure. But this is the owl, the last of the owl diamond paintings. I'm sorry, diamond keychains. And both sides are the same. So that's fun. Again, that takes me about an hour and a half to complete. 45 minutes on each side, but I enjoy doing them so much. And um, if, if you're new and you're wondering, you're visually impaired, how do you do diamond uh, painting stuff? I have special equipment and um, uh, it's called a CCTV, a closed circuit television that I put stuff uh, on the platform and then it comes out on a screen very, very large. So that's how I can see those itty bitty little numbers. Okay, this project I am so, so excited about. I was uh, watching Tony over at uh, Creative Chica Halls. Hi, Tony. And um, also I was watching Kathy over at uh, Kathy Favorite Things. Hi, Kathy. And she was sent um, button art from um, um, Patty over at uh, Patty's Life. No, Life with Patty. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was trying to keep everybody's name and channel right. So uh, this idea comes from uh, Life with Patty, or Patty and Tony over at Creative Chica Halls. They've been doing button art. And I thought, that sounds like a, a cool idea. I have an idea. So what I did is I painted the sky, the background, and the ground, and the tree. And then I did buttons for all the leaves. And here is my first button art. I think that's what you're calling it, button art. I had so much fun doing this that I'm going to do this again. I'm kind of going to do the same thing. I might change up the sky a little, add a little bit of orange or, or um, pinks. Um, probably do the tree similar in the ground. But this time I'm going to put all green leaves with light and, and dark green and then an occasional red button for apples. Yep, I think that's a cool idea. I also have an idea to do sunflowers. So the brown button in the center and then um, the yellow, uh, I think it would be yellow leaves all the way around or yellow buttons all the way around. So I'm going to try that out. But I thoroughly enjoyed this. So I got the canvas from a Dollar Tree and um, my husband ordered all the little tiny assorted colored uh, buttons from Amazon. It's a great set, has a bunch, a bunch of little tiny buttons as you can see, that's the size there. Um, and then, um, uh, you know, just kind of created the tree and the sky and the background and the ground. Um, so I had a lot of fun and then I, finished it off by doing the edges. You know, I just always color, uh, paint the edges so it looks finished. So that, and I know who's getting this. So uh, when they receive it and show it, or choose to show it on their channel, then you'll know who the recipient is. So anyway, I had a blast with this. I think that I'm going to do more projects with buttons. So thank you, Tony, over at uh, Creative Chica Halls, and thank you, Patty. Um, over at uh, Life with Patty uh, for sending that over to uh, Kathy over at Kathy's Favorite Things. I got it. And uh, uh, because um, uh, Patty had done a heart and it was all colorful buttons and I'm like, that is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that gave me this idea. So anyway, that is all I have for my project share. Stay tuned later for Make a Meal Monday. I do have uh, a meal in mind so stay tuned for that i hope you guys continue to have a wonderful wonderful day so until next time stay safe stay happy stay positive and until next time you guys rock